morning guys it's Saturday morning and getting out of the house because Laura's making me do work and it's Saturday Saturdays are for like relaxing aren't they anyways I'm outside with my dog Ruby and it's pretty cold out it's uh, minus 25 degrees Celsius the wind chill pretty cold anyways come on Ruby come on and Ruby is such a wimpy dog now because she doesn't like the cold. She gets out there, her paws runs around the snow for a couple seconds and comes out and starts whining because it's too cold for her poor paws. I'm gonna have to buy her some boots. Hey, eh? I'm about to buy you some boots. All right, you ready to go in now? It's too cold? Let's go in. And the girls are on their computer. How do you know she's becoming a teenager? And she's on her computer all day. It's raining. It's raining. You're playing Minecraft? Why don't you play in Star Stable? I don't know. Nick said, why don't you play Minecraft? And I'm like, okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday while you're watching our video. Um, it is super late. I'm starting the vlog at 20 to 2. 20 to 2. And I'm starving. I have not had anything since breakfast, so I'm making lunch. What are we having? I have grilled cheese. Yeah, they're having grilled cheese, and I'm having grilled cheese with ham. That's it. Yum. Right in there. Did you wash your face like I told you? No. I'm gonna get even messier. Yeah, so you're just conserving energy? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, what? What are you talking about? Conserving energy? That sounds way too much like school. I'm getting out of here. Ow, <laughs> don't pull on me. I'm old. No, yeah. All right, I'm also eating these super yummy things because I'm so hungry. But I love green peas. Do you guys like them? They're so yummy. We have been sleeping in a lot because it's still Christmas holidays here in Canada. Well, where we live, we just follow the school holiday and it ends on tomorrow. It ends tomorrow on Sunday. When you guys are watching this, it's our last day of holidays, which means the last day of this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Watching videos? Fidget spinner and watching Netflix. Netflix? What are you doing? Watching a movie. So this has been happening a lot lately. And then this this um, dog who likes to bait bees by Sam this. or Gabby and then this so she this girl has been waking up in the morning coming downstairs and jumping on her computer but that's all gonna end why is it gonna end Gabby because it's school yeah back to school the funniest thing happened today this morning Sophie had her baby bunny down here on the couch and Toby loves any animal. He had a hard time with people, but he has no hard time with animals. So he was so excited and he was shaking. He just wanted to get to the bunny. And the bunny went up to Toby and put its nose next to Toby's nose and Toby was so excited. And then out of nowhere came Miss Cookie Dough who thinks that she's his mother. Stepped inside of him and put her paw on top of Toby and pushed him back away from the bunny. And then, he hid behind her shaking because she just told him clearly that you better be careful. That's a wild bunny. It's so crazy. They're not even related. And she acts like his mom and takes care of him. And he acts like her baby. You're like me, Cookie. I want to protect my babies all the time too. Even people who, even kids who are not my babies, I want to keep safe. And they're like, yes, give me all the love. Give me all the love. Yes, give me all the love. Welcome to Day by Day's very first bunny jumping competition. First we're going to meet the entrants and then we're going to have our first little competition and you guys are going to get to help us decide who wins. So let's meet our contestants. So Hi, I'm Sophia and this is my bunny Lucky. This is Lucky. Hi Lucky, are you feeling lucky right now or are you feeling kind of stressed out in your little harness? My He's like, I'm pretty chill. This is okay. I don't mind it. Do you think your bunny's gonna win? Probably not. <laughs> Contestant number two. Hi, I'm Gabby and this is Shy. His nickname is Shy Boy. And this is Shy. He's pretty young, so I think he can um, learn to jump. jump higher than everyone else because he's young. He has some more years. So you think you're gonna win? Yeah, basically. 
Shy Boy, do you think you're gonna win? So we got Lucky and Woo! Shy Boy. So I am Laura, and of course I think that I'm gonna win because I'm the oldest bunny, and she's a girl, and the other contestants are boys, and I think girls rule. So I think my bunny's gonna win, and this is her, and her oh name boy. is, wait, what's my bunny's name? Daisy. 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 My bunny's name is Daisy, and this is her. And she's a little nervous right now. She's a little scared, but don't let that fool you because she is gonna kill it in the jumping ring. Oh right? Isn't she pretty? We are in the jumping ring. Okay, bunny number one. Let's see what you can do. He did not do very well. He's sort of petrified at the moment and <laughs> refusing to move. Am I Come bunny? on, Lucky. Come on. Oh, me and my bunny aren't worried about the competition. We're just relaxing. So, contestant number one is having a little treat so that he feels a little bit more motivated. Bunny number two, also known as Shy. <laughs> Wherever there's food, there's cookie. She's like, I can't resist. All right, Laura, how do you think your bunny did? I think my bunny did fabulous for a very first try. I'm ready to try again. Right? Say yes, I'm ready to try again. All right, I switched her to a pink. Harne uh, pink harness because I think pink is her color and that will really motivate her. Right, here comes Lucky. Come on.
have it. I watched a bunch of videos just to make sure I had it. Just to make sure I knew what we were doing and we were totally on the right track, but obviously the people who made those videos, their bunnies already knew how to jump because our bunnies were not impressed. I think a lot of it is that our bunnies are new to being pets, new to being inside, and new to the halt, to the harnesses that they were wearing. I think, um, and new to the jump. But we're gonna keep working on it, and when our bunnies are ready for a show-stopping video, we're gonna re-video them. Just put the horses in, the, in their stalls for the night is the uh, coldest day on record so far in here in Ontario, Canada. I even heard that they have snow in Florida today, which is insane. Um, people have been asking if we could do a locker tour or a tack haul um, tour of all the stuff that Sabrina has. So I'm gonna show you guys because we just got our horse three months ago, four months ago, and we don't have a lot of stuff, but it's amazing how much stuff you accumulate in a short time. So uh, this is our messy, uh, locker the girls were here at horse camp this week and they just Sophia destroyed it so uh, first of all i'm just going to go through the stuff that she has we have our bridle that obviously didn't get bridle wrapped after horse camp this week we also have her halter and actually this lead rope that um we got when we first came when we first got her it's and you can see it's a breakaway one with the leather strap so I actually never used this one because we like the purple one for her. Um, she also has this girth. This is the one that came with her. And we use it every time we ride. This is her half pad. It's memory foam. And some people are saying that memory foam is not very comfortable. We should get sheepskin. I'm totally interested to hear what you guys have to say about that because if that's the case, I've always wondered what one is the best. If sheepskin is the best, then maybe we're gonna look into a sheepskin one. I really like those ones. So this is her saddle. It's a bit, it's a bit old. It's a bit banged up. It probably goes with her everywhere she goes. Um, it's a kid. It's 16. It's a 16-inch saddle, actually. This is the one that she has. We're grateful to have it. We're grateful to use it because it's her saddle. She also has a hay net that we actually haven't been able to use yet, but we're going to work that in somehow. That's a whole nother video. Through the amazing generosity of one of our subscribers, we have all these polo wraps. As you can see, um, these polo wraps here match our saddle cover, and we also have a matching saddle pad for those polo wraps. I love these saddle pads. Again, they were given to us from an amazing subscriber who has her own channel called Mini Winnie's Windmill Stables. If you guys wanna check out her channel, totally check out her channel. She has miniature horses and they are adorable. She sent us a bunch of stuff. She also, we also have this white saddle pad and another white saddle pad that I want the girls to do a craft with. So we have this super cute green one that matches these polo wraps. She also has this beautiful purple one that the girls got, that Gabby got for Christmas. Another thing that we have is this bag, tack bag, which I love. It's my favorite one by far. It's big, it's roomy, it's amazing. Um, the girl that runs the Mini Winnie channel also sent us that. This, I'm gonna use it for when we go to shows because it's so versatile and easy to carry around. I love it. We have all of Sabrina's um, grooming stuff here. We have, we have all of her brushes. Most of these are new. We have another subscriber sent us these elastics, which are super cool. And they're purple. We have all these brushes. Some of them that we have not even been able to use yet. We have her carrots. And I think that's all we have, you guys. We don't have a lot of stuff, like I said. We also have this bucket. Um, we got this for Christmas as well. I just received another package of her supplement in the mail. I ordered it like about a week ago, and it's called Copper Flex. This is the supplement that she's on. It is amazing. It's supposed to be amazing, and for the price of this, it better be amazing. Um, so I have that in her locker. Another thing that we have for Sabrina that's super controversial, a lot of people complained about them, are earplugs. Sabrina wears earplugs. Ear she has always worn earplugs. Sometimes she wears earplugs and a bonnet, but 
at her home she wears earplugs and at our place she just wears earplugs and these are the ones that we have for her they're like a foam kind of thing they stay in amazing and she's so much better with them the girls have their half chaps in our locker and we store our helmets in here and all three of us store our boots in here which makes our locker super messy the last thing that we have in here are both of the girls have these um helmet covers for winter which they'll probably be making use of this week because we're going to be rotting in frigid temperatures starting in three days you guys three more days and we are back in lessons if you want to see all the horses at the barn dressed up in these polo wraps and matching saddle pads is so cute you can watch sophia's eighth birthday party we had a party here it was amazing so much fun our barn went out of their way to make it an amazing birthday party for us and all the horses got to wear all of this all of the matching stuff and it was super cool and um, we'll have the link in the description above if you guys want to watch that it's so cool today yesterday and today are supposed to be the same kind of cold but today i feel so much colder to me a lot of people have been commenting about the weather and i don't think you guys understand what it's like in canada like people just don't understand we're used to it so we can go outside and be in here be out there but a lot of people who move to canada as adults or even teenagers or are born here or born in, born in a more warm climate when they come here it's hard for them to survive because it is that cold so when our temperature says minus 27 that's without the wind chill so then they add in the wind chill to give us the actual temperature it's been um in some places in canada it's minus 44 right now with the wind chill it's crazy today's the kind of day that you just want to curl up and stay inside and watch tv but i'm going out i'm actually going to a pampered chef do you guys know what pampered chef is um where you go and they cook food and you try the products it's like cooking products and then you buy them fiona invited me and i feel like i have to go so that i can support her because she's always so supportive and wonderful to us but i hate cooking and i hate pampered chef stuff i mean it's really good stuff but uh, uh, anyway i have to go there and support her and buy something and then come back home that's my plan hi hey guys well laura's away now and i'm with sophia and we're gonna end today's vlog but before we do we're gonna read a couple of comments and the first comment. From it's from Pony Pals. And she says, Tomorrow is my birthday. And it would make my day if you said happy birthday, Ella, in the vlog. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ella. And uh, next hey, comment, I'm going to do two. Ride by ride. And she says, Yeah, that was awesome, Laura. My barn is not beautiful. It's muddy and there isn't enough stalls for every horse, but the barn is a therapeutic barn and I and all my friends love to help them. In the summer we have a therapeutic camp. They come and we give them all pony rides and the brush the horses and help untack them. I love it because the owner would never put on a horse that you couldn't ride. And it's awesome because when I was at my old barn I could only ride one horse now I ride tons could this be comment of the day please that's a great story I've heard lots of stories recently about uh, different barns and there's lots of positives and negatives about different barns and that's why we're at our barn we have some positives there that we like to focus on and which was different than our old barn but anyways great comment and we are gonna Say good night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.